This lesson deals with supplemental problem 7.5. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 7 supplemental problems on page 11. Given this one inductor circuit with a single pole single throw switch that's going to close it to equal zero, can you solve for the current IFT? We had a six step algorithm in our chapter 7 notes. Let's use that to solve this problem. Step one is to formulate the equations. So we have the solution of a first order differential equation which is a plus b times e to the minus t over tau for any voltage or any current in our circuit. Let's find the pre-switching conditions. So the switch was open prior to t equals zero. Let's assume that the inductor has reached steady state, so it's a short circuit. And then we can solve for the current in the 4K resistor, which is the same as the current in the inductor. With the open circuit here, then I have 16 volts across 8K, so I get two milliamps. Step three is to find the initial condition the current that we're solving for is also the inductor current, so it can't jump instantaneously. So it, it was two milliamps, it still is two milliamps. I don't have to even bother to draw the schematic for this. So it's gonna be equal to A plus B times E to the zero. Step four is to find the final condition to get another equation in our two unknowns. But now the switch is closed. We have a short circuit in parallel with 4K. Anything in parallel with zero is zero. In other words, zero times 4K over zero plus 4K is zero. So now we've got all of the voltage across the 4K resistor because the inductor again looks like a short circuit in steady state. So 16 now divided by 4K is 4 milliamps. That's my value of A plus B times E to the minus infinity over tau, or just A. And now I can solve for B. Step five is to find the Thevenin resistance seen by the inductance. And do that with all the independent sources set equal to zero. That's a short for a battery, but our switch is closed. So again, this looks like zero ohms. So all you see looking back is the 4K resistor. So our time constant is L over R Thevenin, and that's gonna be 500 millihenries now divided by 4K. That's 125 microseconds. Lastly, let's put it all together. I've got A plus B is two milliamps, but A is four milliamps, so therefore B is equal to minus two milliamps. So we've got A plus B times E to the minus T over tau. So I had four milli for A, minus two milli for B. I'll put the milli on the outside here, and I got E to the minus T over tau, this is true for T greater than zero, but also equal to zero because this is the current in an inductance and it can't jump instantaneously. We found that the value was two milliamps for T less than zero, but again, there's inequalities that pass through zero. When you plug in T equals zero here, you get four minus two or two milliamps. And this is supplemental problem 7.5.